Hello, hello, beautiful souls. How are you doing? I hope all is well with you. Chosen ones, the reason why your journey has been extremely hard and why it will always be a more pushback dynamic, push-pull dynamic is because you are fighting a battle with good and evil. Okay? You're fighting a battle against good and evil. And let me tell you something. Evil, evil doesn't like to lose. Okay? Even though evil's going to lose, like it is a fact, evil's going to lose. It doesn't want to lose. <laughs> it doesn't want to lose. And because of that, it's going to be a lot of push pull for you. Because evil doesn't want to lose, it's going to be more hard for you. Chosen ones, if we were the type of people that would line up to sell our souls to the devil, line up to be unethical, to be nasty, to be disgusting, oh, baby, we would, I mean, life would probably be a lot easier for us. <laughs> like, if you notice for celebrities and other evil people, people that practice witchcraft, all types of stuff, things work out for them because they don't really, re they don't rely on God. They rely on the ruler of this earth, this realm. Which is evil. God is in the ultimate control. But I know you don't believe that God is just causing all this chaos. No, it is definitely evil work going on. I'm pretty sure you all have heard about the Anunnaki. You have heard about the offspring of the Anunnaki. The um the big trolls. I cannot think of the name right now. Again, the fallen angel. The fallen angels. The evil stuff that's going on in this world okay if it wasn't if you were working more in that direction working towards the evil and the like a worse place baby it like you would see how so much stuff would just easily just like with a snap of a finger it will be so easy for you but because you're going against the grain you're going against what this realm loves you are working for the good you are the light in the darkness baby it's gonna be a lot harder if you notice like i'm gonna flip the camera real quick i have about one um little light night light thingy here can't think of the name street light yeah got one street light here one street light over there over there one far away over there but if you notice there's more dark out right now than there is light there's more dark then there is light. And unfortunately, in this world, okay, in this 3D matrix, that's how it's going to be. There is way more darkness here, unfortunately, than there is light. But let me tell you the power of the light. <laughs> let me tell you the power of the light, baby, because it does not matter how dark it gets. When that light shines, even if it's just one light, that's all it takes. I know you all remember in the Bible where God asks, if there's at least one if there's at least one light left, if there's at least one good person left, I won't destroy this place in its totality. Okay? I won't completely, totally destroy this place. And out of the whole place, he found Noah. Okay? And because of Noah, that's why he did not destroy the earth. Now, mind you, Noah is that light. Okay? Noah is that light. Noah was that light. Excuse me he's passed away so i'm saying it was is he was that light that's us chosen ones all right we are the light that is allowing this world to keep going if this world was just completely filled with darkness baby it would it would drown down under like the daggone titanic okay it's the light bearers the healers like us chosen ones that's keeping this place afloat all right and that's how it's going to be as long as there's light going on i believe there's hope i believe that there is a fighting chance understand that the realm that we're in here this is all about learning lessons this is all about learning lessons this isn't meant to be like a permanent like a permanent thing to get used to this is a temporary realm and we're supposed to grow from here okay but you notice in this place it is nothing but misery and torment and turmoil because this is not our home. This is not our final place. When you, when we pass away, these bodies, these flesh suits, 
our spirit is going to ascend to other places, different realms. I strongly believe in it. Everybody else may have a different belief system, but I believe for sure that's what's going to happen. Okay, and the dark people, the people that want to worship sin, the people want to sell their soul, the people that want to work with the government, you know, the reptilians, the Anunnaki, all this stuff y'all been hearing about, these people, they're going to continue to keep being here, keep coming back here, and their life, their life is going to be filled with nothing but darkness. But baby, you're going against that, okay? To bring it back to what I was saying, you're going against that, so that's why it's so hard for you. So the days we were just like, man, God, like, this is just, like, I know, I know I have a plan. I know that you want me to, like, God, I know you have a plan for my life. And I know you want me to show up bubbly and just for And for the most part, that's what we do as chosen ones. Like, we fight through this matrix. And I know this matrix, the, the, the higher ups, okay, the evil principalities that we never going to see, they know us, baby. And I know they be mad because they be wanting to take us down, but it's not going to happen. Like we gotta fight against, we gotta fight against our cause. We gotta fight against demons. We gotta fight against family members. We gotta fight, fight against fake friends. We gotta fight against jealous coworkers. Like baby, we are like Samurai Jack out here, okay? Like we are, like. <laughs> so, please understand that God gets it, but He knew, okay? You Samurai Jack, Mister and Miss, okay, for the men and the women, that you was gonna be able to do it. You might be like. And that's okay. But you're going to get up every time. Okay? You're going to get up every time and you're going to show up. And you're not only show up, you're going to show out. Each battle, each lesson is going to make it easier for the next. And it's going to be that ultimate battle. You know how you in a fight in, a, in, a, in like online or when you watch anime, you got like the final boss? Yeah. All of this is timing us up for when we do run into the final boss. We're gonna be able to we're gonna be able to take that final boss down like nothing. Okay? We're not gonna get our behind toe up by the final boss. We're gonna tear up the final boss. And I don't know what your final boss is gonna be. But as chosen ones, we all gonna have it. Okay? And you gotta be prepared. That's where all this stuff is coming your way. Because this battle is bigger than what you can even imagine. Being a light worker and a healer. Being chosen by God is not a small task. And see, that's what a lot of these religions try to do. Put us all in these boxes and tell you who you are and what you can and cannot wear and what you can and cannot do. Like, that's not God. The kingdom of God is within. And you can show up in different ways. You know what I'm saying? But that's what this matrix wants. it's like oh you don't look the same you don't dress the same you don't act the same so no you're not a christian you're not you're not a believer people be having problems when i'm wearing this type of stuff and i'm like baby this ain't going nowhere you either going to love me or rock with me or you're going to judge and you going to hate and you're going to keep scrolling or leave your little crap i'm gonna block you and blah 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 you know like this this matrix is just <laughs> it's so predictable at this point point. and that's why i'm telling you that i know it's hard but God knew it was going to be harder for us. And he still made us. You're still alive today. Because God knew that you were going to be able to touch so many people. So you tell baby, you can't quit. And just know that God has his hand on you. Okay? God has his hand on you. So when people, when they mistreat you, when they lie to you, when they deceive you, when they attack you, when they bear false witnesses on your name, all right? When they wanna keep gang stalking you and keep just acting like you don't have the greatest protector <laughs> of all time, of all, like God is like, why y'all keep playing with God? They think they playing with you, but it's God, baby. And the sad part is that your enemies are wasting their energy on you, giving you more energy, thinking that they're going to do something. Well, all they're doing is making you even better. Like, they really just making you better. So, keep fighting a good fight, okay? Keep fighting a good fight and know that God is with you. And with God, all things are possible. Whether your struggle in this matrix is financial, 
whether your struggle in this matrix is love whether your struggle in this matrix is finding a place to truly belong you're gonna make it and let me tell you if you're struggling for a place to belong your chosen family is where you belong you're not gonna fit in with regular degulars it's never gonna happen and it's a lot of regular degulars and it's only a select few of us plenty are called few are chosen okay so be thankful and show gratitude when god does bring your soul tribe because there's going to be many people that come in and come out and it's unfortunate but it's all a part of the plan it's all a part of to make you greater because god's like all right let's see if this person put that you know, probably put that hole in you. Are you going to crumble? Or are you going to say, I know who my God is. And I know that rejection is God's protection. That is the that is the honest to God truth. There is nothing in this world that is not supposed to work out for you. That doesn't work out for you. That God actually wanted to work out for you. No. Because again, that's saying that it's too hard for God. Or it's by chance. or it's by, No. I don't believe anything is by chance. I believe it's all by design, intelligent design. So baby, every single day, hold your head up high and know who loves you, okay? I'm gonna make sure I leave y'all with that all the time. Remember who loves you in this cold world, okay? God will never leave you. God will never leave you and God will never forsake you. All right. If you had a bad day today, hugs, peace, love, and light, and blessings to you. You are divinely protected, chosen one. You are divinely healed. And this is only for my chosen ones. If you are a gang stalker or an enemy of mine, God will deal with you accordingly. And I'm also going to be leaving these under my videos because my blessings are to my chosen family, to those who carry love, peace, and light effortlessly. And it's never a mask being worn. Only authentic truth, genuine truth. Not the fakers, all right? Not the haters. I know y'all here. And you will be dealt with accordingly. But to my chosen family, peace be unto you. All right? And unto you be peace. And everything is always working out for you. God did not bring you this far for you to fail. And it's a lot of you out here who have been down lately, have been sad lately, have been thinking, God, what's going on? God is here. He is within you. You will not fail. But you got to believe it. All things are possible to those who believe. Keep believing in the kingdom of God that is within you. And stop looking without. Stop looking outside of you and what they're presenting to you out here. It is all traps from the matrix your peace comes from within and it is from the love and the joy of god all right never forget that i love you beautiful soul but remember god loves you so much more i'll see you on the next video